the RFC plant is uh, in uh, Gandhi Nagar uh, bus stand. So you have to come from the from that place. So it may take some time, right? So how much time it's taking, and uh, uh, what is the slum loss? All these things have to be uh, uh, accounted for. Then uh, early strength requirements, uh, if uh, if anything, early age strength. So if you want uh, seven day strength, for example, pre-stressing concrete in seven days itself, you have to achieve uh, some target strength. So in those cases, you have to mention this uh, early st age strength requirements and type of uh, aggregate. Uh, there are several types of aggregate, right? Uh, um, natural aggregate, uh, crushed na natural gravel, um, then crushed aggregates, then manufactured aggregates, iron in manufactured aggregates or recycled aggregates, uh, uh, the, then other than natural sources aggregates, iron slag aggregate, uh, uh, steel slag aggregates, blast furnace slag aggregate. Uh, uh, these are all uh, types of aggregate, uh, maximum cement content. Uh, so uh, to ensure the durability of the concrete structures, uh, cement content is limited, 450 kilogram, and also economical point and sustainability, economical and sustainability point of view, the maximum cement content is limited actually. Whether an admixture shall or shall not be used and the type of admixture and the condition of use. Uh, so there are uh, different types of admixtures available, plasticizer, viscosity modifying agent, super plasticizer, high reduction, water reduction admixture, water reduction admixtures, but there are uh, different uh, types and the PCE method, PCE type aggregate, uh, P polycarboxylic ether uh, uh, admixtures, there are different types of admixture, how much quantity you have to use and what purpose you have to use, whether you want to accelerate the strength or you want to accelerate the workability, want to flow, you want to flow concrete or you want to have the high strength concrete and what purpose you are using and how much you want to use, that you should have an understanding, uh, so that you should know. So these are all uh, about the data for mixed proportioning actually. Then types of cement and tests on cement. So before I, in the next uh, part three and part four, it is mainly focusing on tests on cement and uh, tests on aggregates to check the quality of uh, cement and aggregates actually. So our main theme is to understand how to give a proper mix design actually. Uh, to ensure in the tomorrow's lecture we are going to see about the NDT techniques so if you could not able to achieve the target strength or if you could not able to achieve the set target then what is the solution so that is we are going to see in the next class tomorrow's class but today we are going to see um, so how, how to give a proper mix design so so that there won't be any issue with the contractor client issue and also one more point i want to mention i in wherever i give presentation i encourage all the faculties to give uh, to involve in consultancy projects actually so so to do consultancy with your limit so the mix this and uh, you can give and you can charge some little amount uh, so that uh, you can do you can generate revenue for the institute so you know the construction industry is one of the uh, means uh, assuring uh, in, in industry. Uh, so uh, why, why I am telling this, you should not deviate in this uh, too much into the uh, test. The, our main target will be uh, understanding the mixed design. But I am giving the glimpse about types of cement, tests on cement, tests on aggregates actually. Okay. So. Uh, there are uh, several types of cement, the ordinary Portland cement as per uh, IS conforming to IS uh, 269 uh, 2015 uh, ordinary Portland cement 33 grade, 43 grade, 53 grade, uh, 33 is nothing but uh, it's uh, uh, cube compressive strength of cement. Uh, so 33 MPA, 43 MPA, 53 MPA, uh, then rapid hardening cement. So the advantage of using this rapid hardening, those things we will see in the next slides. Uh, extra rapid hardening cement, sulfate resisting cement, IS 12330 Portland slag cement, IS 455. So you are all you are all familiar with IS 456. So here uh, Portland slag cement is IS 455. Then uh, quick 